How do you put Zcash on a brand new ledger? I'm gonna show you how to do that in this quick video here. So you have your all set up, your ledger all set up. If you don't, I'll put a link down below on how to get set up the first time. But once it's all set up, you may have found that when you scroll through and go through the different currencies, here like this, you might see Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these other ones, but you might not have Zcash on there, for example. So I'm gonna show you how to install Zcash and it's pretty easy. Also, what we do in this video works for most of the altcoins other than Zcash as well, if you wanted to put them on here, except for Ethereum and Ripple. Let me show you what I mean. So when you get this thing set up, your ledger set up, you're going to need a few Chrome apps to access, send and receive cryptocurrencies. If you have Ethereum or Ripple, you need specific wallets here. It just takes two seconds. You click a few times, install, click a few times, install. What you and I are doing right now is Zcash. And so Zcash falls under this, the kind of the main one they have called the Bitcoin and altcoin one. And if you just wanna click into here and install this simple installation, yada, 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 um, just basically click this, click install, and it'll install it in Chrome. So that's the first step, having the wallet. And then the second step, you'll also want the ledger manager. And so if you click this here, it's a really similar process to what we just did. When you go to the bottom, you click install, and you're gonna get this Google Chrome install thing like this. Once you have these installed in Chrome, you should be able to go to apps somewhere like this, this apps thing, and see all the different apps that you might have installed in Chrome. And these are the two things here. So because we wanna install Zcash, I'm gonna to go to my ledger manager because the first thing I need to do is have it show up on this device. So I'm gonna to go to ledger manager like that, and it opens up this, you can see I have ledger manager now, um, this pop up here. And when you are here, it is going to give you the option to install these different altcoins on your device. So if you want Zcash, all you need to do is click this button here, this little down button here, and it's gonna install that application on your device here. It takes a few minutes, it's super simple. And when it's done, you should have the Zcash logo right here so that you can use it. That was step one. Step number two, now that you have Zcash on here, where do you go to send it? Well, you need your wallet for that. So you go back to your apps, you click your Bitcoin wallet, just like that. And at some point, depending on internet speed, time, space, all these different things, boom, the world comes together and we are beginning to unlock our ledger wallet. Um, I'm gonna click into it. I see the little Zcash thing here. I'm gonna click into it. Ha! It seems to want me to put my password in again, so I'm going to do that. And then, yeah, okay. And I'm gonna put this password in again, which takes way too long, but I'm gonna do it. Ready? Password, password. Whew. All right, put the password in again. Going on Zcash, click in Zcash. Does it work? And boom, everything should be working well if you had that going on. And now you can see that I am in my Zcash wallet, right? It looks exactly the same as the Bitcash wallet, Bitcash wallet, Bitcoin wallet. And, um, and you can see what we have here. If you wanna receive Zcash, you can do it here. You send to this address, send me some Zcash if you want. And I would then have it put on my device here. And same, same, I could send it if I wanted to. I'll make another video where I show how to send and receive uh, currencies using Ledger. But that just basically shows you in this quick video how to set up a Zcash wallet so now you are ready to go with your Ledger. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I put out new videos every week where I look at digital literacy, technology, cryptocurrencies, and I teach a course at onemonth.com that you can also check out. I have a lot of different courses over there um, where I teach a lot more. So check it out, leave a comment if you have a question or uh, anything else that's on your mind. Good luck.